Because he's been out there writing songs for years. Uh, any interactions with the Stryker Brothers? Oh gosh, yeah, Stryker Brothers. Lord, Lord have mercy. I, I first saw the Stryker Brothers. I met them. I met them uh, backstage. I first met the Stryker Brothers in 1974. They were, they, gosh, they couldn't have been more than 10 years old. They, they were opening for Dean Martin at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. I, my family had a country band and we were playing down the strip and uh, I, I was 15. They had a song and dance routine that wore bow ties, whole nine yards. And uh, but even then, they had pyrotechnics in their in their deal. The, they would do the soft shoe and the fast tap kind of stuff, and uh, uh, and throw uh, fireworks at each other's feet while they were doing their whole bit. You know, and uh, it was it was it was pretty impressive. And uh, you know, how they transitioned to country music, I'm not really sure, but I know it happened several years later. Well, no, it was, no, no, I know about the fire, the fireworks thing. It, it was my understanding that, that Cole's mama owned a big fireworks stand, and that's how they got the whole thing involved in the act uh, when they were kids. So, Willie's Picnic. I think the next time I saw them, they were teenagers, and uh, it was the, it was early on. Well, actually, come to think of it, uh, that's how Robert Earl King's car got burned up. And it was, you know, Cole and Flint were, you know, shooting uh, Roman candles at one another and it was dry enough that it caught the grass on fire underneath Robert Earl's car and it just burned it all to hell. God, it just devastated. Robert left him crying in the field. He was just a college kid back then, I think. I mean, it was, you know, it, it, it was pretty bad. Cole always did get the best of Flint. I mean, I, I think the whole argument started. You know, I've never really known or understood what this argument was about, but I know it's been ongoing. It was ongoing from the time that, I mean, when they were 10 years old and uh, uh, to, you know, when they were teenagers and on through uh, their career. And I, you know, that fight in uh, at Willie's Picnic all those years ago, gosh, uh, I, I just think that was the culmination of, of uh something that had been going on for years. And quite frankly, I, you know, their obsession with pyrotechnics, really, I, I think it got so dangerous that, that they needed to quit. You know, I mean, it was more than just the argument kind of stuff. They, they really needed to quit. I mean, it, it, was, it was catching up to them. That's my phone. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, the, the whole pyrotechnic thing, it's always intrigued me because you know, their relationship was such a little bomb about to go off, and then finally they just, boom, you know. It was, I, I think that's really where it culminated. In, in some ways, there's such reflection of that in their lyrics. They always had this intensity, you know.